Cheetos, I guarantee you're going to like it. But it ain't for the weak of heart. It's got a little bite in it. Since I was a small child, I love to gather around a fire and make that thing what they call a s'more. Now, that's wanting some more really is what we used to call it at Mama's house all the time. But I took this to a whole new level. I ain't be using no graham crackers or none of that. I'm using me some chocolate chip cookie dough and some marshmallows and some pickled candied jalapenos that I put together to go on top. Now, you can do this in a Dutch oven, but you can also do this in a 12 inch skillet in the house. We'll have that too for you, I promise. We're gonna make sure that we spray this 12 inch, and this is a 12 inch shallow. And we got our cookie dough here. And if I can keep the beagle out of it, we're gonna place them in here pretty tight. You can see the way we place them in there. Now, when cookies cook and they get hot, what do they do? They spread out a little. Now these is pretty tight and I leave them that raisin because I want to get try to get a little thickness out of this deal. So we're going to bake this and we're going to add them marshmallows and the rest of it. So let's take this over, put it on a tall trivet because we want to cook it slow. Get after it. When we baking cakes, cookies, brownies, anything like that, and you can see the way that wind's blowing, them things is hot. Now, I'm going to try to keep these coals from being directly under this Dutch oven. Coals around the outside edge, you've seen us rake the coals directly out from under because good cast iron heats pretty good and it'll disperse heat pretty even. Long as we what? Long as we rotate. Lid one way, bottom the other. Whew. I can tell now we're beginning to accidentally make a cookie. Things is spreading out and taking up some space. So let's give it a little rotation here right quick. Try to even out any hot spot we have. Won't be long before we add the rest of the goodness to it. We better check things, folks. And you can see I done got me one of them Oklahoma toothpicks off that friendly little tree over. Now you can see things have really begun to spread out a little. And look at this separation that's beginning to take place here. So any baked good, like we've always told you, when it's doing that separating deal, it is time to come off the bottom. You always check them cakes with a toothpick. Now, I just want it to come out clean on the bottom. Looky there, clean as a whistle. That top, you know when you bring a cookie out, it's soft on top and then it sets up. Time to add them marshmallows right now. Now you can get them big ones, but I prefer them little ones. And I'm gonna cover it up. Cause I like that gooey. Look here what I got. Look here, Beagle prefers these two. They're his favorite kind. So always remember, be pet friendly, get the little ones. We're gonna put the lid on top. Let them marshmallows incorporate. When we spread them marshmallows out, all we're wanting to do is get them hot enough that they begin to melt and get in that cookie dough right there on top, sort of create that bond together. Now, the beagle has eat all the marshmallows, so we better check them. Ooh, that is what I'm after there. You see that color that's taking place? Now we're going to set this up here on top of this table. And folks, you have seen them fancy dandy chefs on TV and they need to brown something and they break out one of them little torches and they light it. Don't think I ain't fancy. I got me one of them torches. <laughs> Like that folks that's what you call a torch to do the job so we're gonna let that cool just a minute Ooh. and then we're gonna top it then we're gonna serve it mm. 
Everybody gonna be wanting this recipe, and if you ain't got one of these torches, you ain't gotta have one. I'm gonna top it off with them candied jalapenos. We're gonna be good. I'm gonna cut it. Look at that. Ooh, I'm telling you, this is some of that good, and that's a hot I can burn in my finger. And we're gonna let her set right there. Now, folks, I've candied some of these jalapenos. They is minced in a jar, pickled. I put me about a cup full of them in there. Then I added me some Cairo syrup and some white sugar. Bring it to a boil, I mean a hard boil, for about three minutes, stirring constantly, and then let it cool. And it goes really well right on top of this little jewel right here. That's what I call a candied jalapeno chocolate chip s'more get you a bite of this and put it in there your taste buds is going to be all mixed up because we gonna I turned it over for a purpose you're going to get the little crust that's on the bottom it tastes like that cookie chocolate chip cookie then that marshmallow goodness and then you're going to get some sweet sort of syrup that's got a little bite in it mm. how'd I come up with this recipe yeah. I was with the good folks certified Angus beef was having one of them little chef gatherings and we had this little chop competition this was in our little basket of goodies. And they said, hey, cowboy, you can make the dessert. I didn't have no Dutch oven up there. But what did I do? I improvised. Mixed it together just like this, put it in a 12-inch skillet, set it on three rocks, turned the skillet on top of it, coals underneath, coals on top. I had me a Dutch oven. It is good, folks. I guarantee you're going to like it. But it ain't for the weak of heart. It's got a little bite in it. Thank you all for stopping by. We don't take it for granted. The beagle didn't eat too many marshmallows, I promise you. Thank you. God bless you. You're a bad catch, Beagle. He might be a bird dog, but he ain't no marshmallow catcher. Dog's the only one batting 100%. Oh, come on, Beagle. Here you go, Frankie.